Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Chris. Now, in this video, we will be looking into the news that broke last week about the long-awaited Solo Flash movie. Remember, be sure to subscribe before watching this video. Also, make sure you like, comment, and share this video as well. And stick around to the end of the video for more information about the news on the Solo Flash movie. <laughs> Now, before we get into the video, Happy New Year. For those of you that love DC content, we have a DC playlist that you will absolutely love. We will leave links down below and in the cards above, so make sure you guys check that out. And also, a warm welcome to our existing subscribers. So, if you're new here, we make videos about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the DC Cinematic Universe, and of course, we make videos about Funko Pops. So, with that being said, let's get started into the news that broke. So, Warner Bros. are still moving ahead with bringing Ezra Miller's version of Barry Allen to the big screen. It's Andy Muschietti. It's now directed with writing the script. So, what can we expect from their version of The Flash? Well, apparently an adaptation of the 2011 storyline Flashpoint, which had previously been in the cards under different creative leadership. Now, Andy Muschietti recently said while speaking with the hashtag show, the movie will be a different version of Flashpoint than you're expecting. Andy Muschietti also mentioned that he'll begin working on The Flash this year which makes sense as the movie is currently scheduled to come out in summer 2022. Now for those unfamiliar with Flashpoint, it was a crossover event that saw the main DC Universe timeline being drastically altered. The cross story followed Barry Allen awakening in this changed reality without his super speed and being the only one aware of how things used to be. Now the events of Flashpoint led to the new 52 relaunch which reset most of the DC continuity. It was announced in 2017 that the Flash movie had already been in development for several years, would be a great Flashpoint adaptation. However, by spring 2018, a few months after Game Night Duo, John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein signed on to direct the Scarlet Speedster solo feature. It was reported that the project was no longer being called Flashpoint. Now, following Davey and Goldstein's departure, there was no more mention of Flashpoint, indicating that The Flash would embark down a different narrative path. And now, at this moment in time, we really have to wait and see what Muschietti means by different. Though I imagine that at the very least, time travel will still be involved, given not just its importance to the original Flashpoint story, but how it's frequently used in the overall Flash mythology. Now, of course, we will be curious to see if the Flash's version of Flashpoint, assuming time travel does factor, will it be used to explain why the DC Extended Universe isn't as interconnected as it once was? We'll be interested to see. Of course, we're going to keep our eyes peeled. But in any case, the Flash is still scheduled to race into theaters on, of course, July 1st, 2022. So, of course, with that being said, we'd like to ask you guys, are you looking forward to the new Flash solo movie? And do you think Flashpoint is a good story to adapt to the big screen? Let us know in the comment section down below. I know you guys have been asking about this. You guys definitely want to get in those comments. So let us know what you think. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, we upload videos every single Monday and periodically throughout the week. So remember to like, comment, and share this video as well as it really helps with the channel, which will in turn help us create great content for you to enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a video.